When creating content for your website, you're very likely going to want to link to another page on your website or even an external website if you want to point someone towards a particular resource or page. So let's take a look at how to do that. After clicking on a particular article that you would like to insert the, the link into, select the word or words that you would like to link. Once you have that selected, you'll notice this chain icon and that is where you can insert or edit a link that you've created. If you wish to refer someone to, let's say, the Google homepage, you can simply insert the URL here. It will already list the text that you have displayed, but if you want to change that, you can do so here. And you can select the target. Now a target, if you select none, that means the visitor will remain in the same window. If you are referring someone to an external website, I recommend that you select New Window. That way, after they've looked at the website where you've sent them and they close that window, they will still see your website. If, however, you don't want them to you and you want them to remain in the same window, you would select None. And this is also what you would do if you're referring them to an internal link within your own site because they don't want to have multiple versions of your website up. And clicking OK, you'll now see that the word turns blue. I'll click Save and I'm going to return to my demo site. Now depending on the, on the template that you've installed, your links will appear different colors. And you may be able to change that color. Uh, here I can see that when I place my cursor over the word that I linked, I can see that the link appears in the bottom left hand corner of my screen and I can also see the word is underlined and my icon has changed to the hand. So now clicking on that, it now pops up a new window. The visitor will be directed to Google. Now if I want to insert a link to an internal page, I can again select the word, but you'll notice if I go back to the same icon, I would have to type in the URL for the page. That's not very helpful, it's not very quick. But if I scroll down, I can click on the article button. And this will display all the articles that I have created in my article manager. I can select the particular page that I want and click Save. And now when I go back to my live site, I'll be able to click that page. I'll stay in the same window and my website has redirected the visitor to the monthly features page. So it's just that simple. If I wish to unlink it, I can also highlight the text again and this next icon here is how you can remove the link. If you want to search for a particular article, you can do that by typing in a word or part of the title here. If you have a lot of pages, that will be particularly helpful. And that's how easy it is to insert an internal or external link on your website.